As these songs on, these, on this new record were, 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 were growing, we started hearing an organ piece here on this part and some piano here, some synth here. We got some, uh, some keyboards going on. That's going to start on Monday. I usually perform with the Claypool Lennon Delirium, with Les Claypool and Sean Lennon. So that's how I got mixed up with this. <laughs> Went and saw them. I saw he had a big Moog set up, and uh, his playing was amazing. They were in Salt Lake City with a night off. We played in Salt Lake City. Met up with them and befriended their keyboard player, who was from Brazil. His name is Jaú. And he moved to the States uh, quite a while back and has dedicated his life to keys and organ and piano and synth. Ron asked me if I knew someone who could kind of play keys like I do, and I said, well, I know me. <laughs> this is our guy, if we ever need any, any layers of those sounds whatsoever. Like, I like having the Rhodes, I like having the B3, which is pretty much all I need. You guys have the Mellotron, too. Put, you know, Mellotron and Moog synths, keep it within the realm of the 70s sounds. We don't want to get, get 80s. Keep it in the 70s, early 70s, mid 70s. Got that kind of gnarly, deep purple organ that's kind of underneath. When you put it underneath sort of the heavy, heavy guitars, it, it just makes it even more crunchy, sounds, sounds cool. We've done like really interesting kind of metal percussion on this in, in one section of the song. I met Bill and Braun years ago in the early 90s in Rochester when my old band, Human Remains, played our first out of town show and uh, we've been friends ever since. It was cool to be able to have Dave come down and do some percussion. We just did a bunch of tracks of sort of this tribal sounding uh, drumming going over one of the songs that Troy wrote. We did a bunch of Laura Tom drumming together uh, and then we traded on and off and did a call and response thing. Amongst the uh, several super special and talented people we were able to collaborate with and have as special guests on this record, one of them was my mother. Yeah, that came out awesome. I really loved the texture of the French horn, and we'd never had a horn in any of our songs. She finally got to uh, come out from behind the curtain and play the French horn on uh, Had It All For Us. My mom got to jam with Mastodon, and it sounds amazing. <laughs> 